What is up you guys, Matt here, and we are back with another episode on the Splash Pad series. Today what we are going to be doing is we are finally putting together the fixtures for the entire Splash Pad and we're putting together the slide. We're just getting ready to load it up and it's a very muggy and hot day. So ideally once we get this up, I'm about to go swimming. But we got two of these and we got two trucks and then we got to get a whole Splash Pad fixtures all up there too. So. I think I'm gonna have to call another truck down, but let's get going. See you there. We got the first one in. Now we gotta get one more of those in and then all the fixtures that we opened up in the original video of the unboxing, we gotta get those up too. I'm probably gonna call and have my girlfriend's dad bring his truck so we can um, get all these up in ideally one go because I really don't want to be down here monking around with it and trying to get like three different loads to bring it all up, which I think that's the next one and that one's tall, so oh, it is too. I'm gonna need a ratchet strap this down. Yep. That's the next one. And then where is all the splash pad stuff? I, I'm not too sure, so we're gonna have to go look for that. Oh, it's right there. All those. So yeah, we're gonna need another truck. I'm gonna skip here because I got to give a call and see if I can get another truck down here to get us up there and hopefully we can make it all with one go. I don't think we will be able to, but we'll try. Well, we finally got here, got everything surprisingly here safe. And now we're doing the whole put together thing. There's a big storm all the way up over those hills, which it looks like it's gonna pass us. And of course, now the sun's coming back out. But I think what I'm gonna do is have you guys on a tripod and then probably do a nice time lapse and maybe jump in and out and kind of get an idea of where to begin or where to go after that. Um, but I want to get it started because I want to go swimming and I want to kind of get the slide together. So I'll put you guys on a tripod and then we'll get going on that.
Well, welcome back. Um, I figured I'd come in because ideally I'd give you guys a quick look at what the splash pad looks like, but whoa, did you see that? You're gonna hear it in a second. That was, did you see that That's too? A quick look at the splash pad, yeah. It's gonna crash. Yeah. It was blistering hot today, 90. And then now it's cooling off a little bit, but it rain's moving in, so. Yep. Uh, which is fine, I, I'll be out here in the rain. Uh, I've been uh, power washing the patio all day, trying to get that ready to put a seal coat on. I was planning on doing that tonight. That ain't happening because now the sky's opening up. Major thunderstorms are gonna push through. Uh, we did get the fixtures put on the splash pad. Which look really nice. Yeah, I, I'm actually excited. I get uh, some giggles now that we're finally here <laughs> with the pool liner and it's starting to look really nice. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's coming together. We, we don't have, we got all the pump equipment glued together. We don't have the electricity run for, to the pump yet, so we're not circulating. Um, now that it's raining and it's getting cooler up in the loft, that was why I didn't climb up there this morning, but, cause it was like 120 up there. So. Oh, it's right. I mean, it's probably still hot for a little bit though. Yeah, but now it's cooling down. I'm going to get something to eat. I haven't eaten all day. Um, so I'll get up in there and run some wire tonight. I'm going to be dirty. It's, it's dirty up there, but, uh, we'll get the electric wire run anyways, and probably get it hooked up in the morning. Um, and then maybe we'll start circulating the pool filter. And uh, by mid afternoon, I still got to get sand in the sand filter. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's about there. We, uh, Brandon put in the nozzles. So the nozzles are in. The All the nozzles are finally yeah, in. These fixtures two. are in. So technically, if I can get the pump equipment running, uh, we can turn this on and see what happens. Um, still got to get the lighting hooked up, so hopefully Brandon will stop by tomorrow and I'll make him do that. <laughs> yeah, because um, we've been doing the... Well, we came here today because the whole point of today was to do... Get all the fixtures together and get the slide <laughs> together. The fixtures, they were a lot easier to put together. The slide is kind of a pain. And after... Now I'm just... I just jumped in the pool because I'm like... Now's the time to do it. It's nice and cool and everything. But in the distance, you can see over there where it's all just pouring. And then there was a lightning strike right there. But it's it's nice out right now, especially after cooling off right. and just getting all the sweat off you. But <laughs> there's another lightning yep. strike. Um, one thing to keep in mind, the footing bases, there were no directions or anything when we mounted them, but uh, I almost think the direction where the you plumb into the port, the way they design them might be if you want your fixtures perpendicular, keep them keep the plumbing perpendicular with the way you want your fixtures because um, there, there's no documentation, none of their videos showed it. Um, but when we set the fire hydrant in place, we wanted it to kind of run parallel with the splash pad, but it's skewed off slightly at an angle. Um, it's not a big deal actually when you're sitting over there on the patio you can see all the fixtures same thing with the dumping bucket but mm -hmm. I actually kind of like the way it's set up now because when you're off over sitting under the patio you can see the buckets dump and everything so I think it'll work out just fine uh, we'll see when we fire it up right which I am gonna because uh, I'll, I'll probably by the time I get to editing this video I'll probably get footage of everything all working together and whatnot, so I'm going to end up putting it in at the end, but we'll if you... Now? Yeah, okay. which will be in a second, but I mean, hope you guys are enjoying these series. I mean, if you guys have any other stuff that you like to see, feel free to leave a comment down below, and like I said, if you have any questions or whatnot, I mean, he can either answer it or I can answer it, but... I, I'm glad that it's done. I mean, not done, but it's all because it looks so sweet. It, well, like, yeah, we'll we'll get things running here, and then the big testament will be getting reactions of the grandkids. Yeah. So um, they haven't been here since uh, before Easter, so they haven't seen any of the project. They don't know what we're doing, so they're going to be walking into uh, 
a whole new backyard, kind of like a extreme makeover or whatever. That would be. But uh, but yeah, that'll. Uh, I can't wait to see the reaction. No, that would be priceless. But the splash pad's wet. <laughs> I'll, I'll give you guys a better angle under the porch because it is. I mean, it's full on downpouring now. Yeah, and there's a bee that is right next to us trying to hide from the rain, but I'll try and I'm gonna end this part here because it's just I don't even know if you guys can hear me clear, but now's the best time to end. So w winds are leaning the tree over. Yeah. Yeah, this isn't this is just the beginning. We're gonna get hit pretty good here. I mean just and like I'm, I'm holding a hose, so I better. Yeah. Just like before, I mean I showed you this and there's no you couldn't you could see the mountain. And it's all just rolling in real quick. Drinking some water. But like I was saying, if you guys enjoy this, feel free to hit the playlist up here. And I mean, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm dehydrated. So this, this, this hose actually comes through our water, our filter in our basement. So, so it's still good water. Yeah. I feel like we all, we're all dehydrated from today, but I guess I'll see you guys in the next part. Peace. Welcome back guys. We are on day two of this. I figured I'd jump in because supposedly, well, for one, they were getting the lighting done and um, we're supposed to kind of get the splash pad going, which earlier, so I have this clip, which I'll play real quick. But so in that video, my dad was, I was just filming, but my dad went to go turn the splash pad stuff on and he forgot to glue one of the um pipes in or the pvc pipes in and they just poured all over the ground which that's why the ground's all wet so what have you guys got done anything sick lights actually working well that's what i'm wearing up right now the lights are in the ground yeah the lights wired up and he's working on the controller board for those and we were waiting for glue to dry and about a few hours, so I think we might be good to test out again. Here's these. Set it up here. I thought you were filming. I would have uh, explained a little more. <laughs> I know. That's what I was doing. So what did you get done? Lights. Yeah, we're just doing lights. That's it. It's pretty simple stuff. Yeah, I figured I'd kind of do like a vlog style on this portion because it's like the outro part of this video. So. And it's not going to explain this stuff. All right. Yeah. I have no idea what it is, but there's the uh, fixtures. So I'll kind of give you guys a quicker or a closer up look to them because they're pretty tall. I mean, this one that I'm standing next to right now is the fire hydrant, which it shoots out um, from the top, which is like a shower nozzle, which you'll see all of them in a second. But it shoots out from the top like a nice little shower so it just kind of comes up and down and then all the edges are all kind of like shower nozzles too i guess to where they kind of just squirt out the sides um this is the dumping bucket which is pretty tall and then <laughs> trying to give you guys a visual i can see it's pretty sweet that's the thing we've been talking about this stuff this whole time but we've mm -hmm. never shown them a visual of what anything looked like so no i mean we had pictures in the beginning i don't think we had pictures in the beginning no. i don't think it was ever in the video yeah no, we just talked about it and we kind of showed part of the unboxing but we didn't want to take anything out of the packages either so. right it's the main thing i mean and then right there is what the umbrella looks like with the actual pull out and I, it looks pretty nice I mean, I can definitely touch a top, which, I mean, obviously it's not meant for me. It's more meant for kids, but I mean, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be playing in it, though. Of course. Color. And then there's still the slide. I don't know how much I filmed of us putting that together, but it was a pain, so I did Plus, it rained most of the day, so yeah. we didn't continue. But the lights are in. I don't know if you mentioned that. Oh, I, not, yeah. No, I didn't even say anything about that, up yet, but. which all the lights are in the spots. They're not hooked up yet, so they're not on, but let me These sort are all there. connected in the ground, but not in the pool room. We're, we're working on that now. Yeah, that's for, that's for my brother to explain because he's going to know more about that jargon than I will. But it looks sweet. Am I behind? No, I'm not behind her. Okay. 
Well, I guess we'll go in and kind of talk to my brother about it more if he's still doing it. And you got your six shoes. Yeah. All right, so you, you can explain. So basically each of these controllers will control technically a single light. Two of them will have to share with another LED light. Um, just because we only have eight of these and we have 10 lights, I believe. And then this will be the power supply that will power all the lights that are on the splash pad. Goes into here, which is controlled by either this wall mounted controller or an actual remote controller. You can also hook it up to Alexa or Google or whatever. Um, but these are only eight channel controllers. That's why we have to go with the eight and we couldn't do um, 10 for each light. But right now, just wiring these up, daisy chaining them because once the power comes in from the power supply here, it'll just go into these two and then that'll carry it to the rest of them. Just makes wiring easier and look better. So is this just gonna be like mounted on the wall in here somewhere? Yeah, these, uh, this has a wall mount bracket. This will be mounted right to the wall and then this actually just runs off two AAA batteries and then that'll be snapped right on the wall like that. If you wanted, you could actually take this off the wall and use it as a remote control outside too. It's because there's no wires or anything. It's just connected. It's pretty, pretty slick little device actually. Um, the nice thing about it is each channel can be controlled independently. You can uh, set each individual light its own color. Um, you can run each individual light on its own color changing pattern or you can sync them all up where they're all running on their own uh, pattern or set to the same color or whatever. So so like the 4th of July, we're hoping to get them set up. And I know I mentioned this before, but we want to set some lights red, some white, some blue, um, maybe throw a little bit of pink and blue bluish colors in there too, just to kind of switch it up. So. Um, I mean, we have a few days to get all this done, so. Yeah, only like we're, two more days. We're kind of on track other than uh, we don't have any fireworks yet. Yeah, we're supposed to go get fireworks, which if you want to go in the morning tomorrow, we, you have to let us know. It won't be in the morning. Uh, it might, maybe in the evening. Sweet. That's best morning. Too much no. to do. I'm hoping the weather's going to be nicer in the morning so I can get some sealer on the concrete. If mm. not, we might have the party without sealer on the concrete. Which would but, suck, but whatever. I could probably get the pump running again, and and then uh, first I'll get the pool cycling, and then we can turn that on. Uh, we opened up all the valves this time, so on the initial uh, turn on, everything's going to be on. So all that needs to be dialed in and adjusted, so the pressure is set to work off everything. But we do have the. Uh, con rain deck controller connected up too, so the solenoids are actually working on the manifold. So, oh, that's sweet. Okay, um, but yeah, let me get that fired up. Alrighty, well, I'll cut here, and then once we get that going, I'll give you guys a nice little video of it. Welcome to our splash pad. The water, you can't even really oh, tell, wow. but it's. <laughs> It's, it's way above the house, like, it's all the way. Yeah, it's at least 40 feet. All right, so basically, well, I left, we were basically messing with it and he didn't, he didn't have the valve open all the way. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that that makes sense. I thought it was like Yeah, that's what I was saying. I'm like I know, because we're looking at he's I was like, this is kinda uneventful. Yeah. Cause he was like uh he's like he's like there could be debris under there and I'm like, yeah, I don't know. I was like Cause I was like, how are you gonna get all this working in sync together? But yeah, the mushroom works now. Well, now everything's working in sync. 
because you never turn the nozzle to allow the water to flow through all the way open. So it was like capped off and like pushing as much as it could through. But now everything is working right in sync. The, fourth, the 3rd of July isn't cancelled anymore. <laughs> now it's a tad bit more cooler than what it was a second ago. Okay, well now that makes sense. I was wondering what he did because I just tried spraying right into the air. Oh, Bellman's having a field day. Now, now it actually feels like it's all worth it. Yeah. <laughs> now it's it's more worth it now. Just gotta tweak it, make some adjustments. Even with that being tilted, it, you can't even tell anymore. Not anymore. No. Right. Now it's not worth. Now you don't mess with it. Yeah. <laughs> Before it was a little sketchy, but now. I was even worried about speaking back and it left it. Yeah. 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 Have your head over it. Yeah. Ah, oh, you beat it. It doesn't look like debris, but we'll see what it. Oh, did it come in there? No, oh, hold your face closer. <laughs> that's what I was doing. I'm not sure. Oh, there it goes. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> Just keep it like that. That's great. Yeah. There's a bubbler. <laughs> Stub your toe with a on it. It's random, it. yeah. You're right, Brian. Oh, Roman likes it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Dude, it was taking so long the first time. <laughs> and now it's going every second. All right, go quick, quick. Yeah. <laughs> it's going down now. You're yeah, fine. Kind of there you go. go. <laughs> uh. Ah. <laughs> Yo, dude, <laughs> you got me so. <laughs> That's instant karma to the fullest. Hey. Well, that's a good. If there's any better, <laughs> why did this turn out like five like... times in a row? If there's another better way to end the video, I don't know what there is. <laughs> After I was just talking crap, it started going and it turned to me. Well, you got anything to say about it? Um, no, that's pretty cool. I mean, it's uh, what we wanted. I can uh, probably shave now, though. I yeah. have been holding out till this project was about done, so. I, I shave sooner than that. Next time we do a summary on everything, I think that's what's next. Yeah. Show them with the lights working and. Well, I should have still. Oh, yeah. Right. Look the at the working. grandkids' reactions, right? Mm hmm. Yeah. It was definitely fun. Definitely worth it. Huh? Oh. And now. It's all finished. So, I mean, there's more to do, but. Basically there. Yeah, it was basically like a gift. It's obviously not the real one. If you guys can uh, get us to the 100,000. <laughs> that would uh, be nice. That'd be pretty sweet. But you gotta do what you gotta do, you know. But, I mean, it was done. There's still gonna be one last video or maybe another if there's more coming out on it. I have no clue. Never know. Honest, we but. might uh, do a complete time lapse from the other. Yeah. Do a full, do a full time lapse of start to finish, even to literally this second, because we had or we set up a security camera for this whole thing. But oh, it was well, it's sweet. Hopefully, if anyone's attempting to do this project, we helped them out a little bit, yeah. anyways. But it, and it's been frustrating, but this makes it fun. No, I know, especially 
seen it fully work and exactly how you imagined it. Yeah. It's nice. There's still some dialing in on some of the valves and stuff we gotta do, but right. it's working, it's draining into the pool and the dog seems to be happy, so. Yep. But once again, like I always say, if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave a comment or let us know and we'll we'll let you know. Um but uh, I guess this is where I end the video here. And if there's any anything else that needs to be added, I guess I'll just kind of throw it in now. But if not, hope you guys do enjoy this video. Feel free to leave a like, subscribe if you want more content. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace. You can go touch the water. Go run through it. You don't have to get really wet. Hey, where's the water touch, buddy? Look at that. You can even feel it from here. Look.